Imagine a defense system so powerful that no army would dare to attack, because the sky itself would strike back. Nikola Tesla called it Teleforce. Newspapers named it the Death Ray. Tesla insisted it wasn't a ray at all, but a focused stream of charged particles able to melt engines, stop planes in midair, and make borders untouchable. He never presented it as a weapon of destruction, but as a machine for peace. If every nation could defend itself completely, he said, no one would waste blood and treasure invading anyone else. No trenches, no air raids, no next war. Just the end of organized killing. Tesla claimed the idea came from a chain of innovations that mixed science fiction with precision engineering. Extreme voltages, vacuum chambers, accelerated particles, a method to keep the beam tight, and a power source able to react instantly. He spoke with calm certainty, as if the full design already existed in his mind and a few sealed trunks. Investors wanted proof. Governments wanted a working model. Tesla wanted faith. The world gave him doubt and applause in equal measure. His timing was haunting. As nations built bombers and sirens, he talked about invisible shields that could knock aircraft from the sky before they released their bombs. He imagined cities surrounded by walls of energy stretching hundreds of miles. He warned that offense would always outgrow defense unless humanity changed the rules. Skeptics demanded evidence. Supporters pointed to his record, alternating current, radio, wireless power. Even his failures often became someone else's breakthroughs years later. If anyone could make electricity behave like a barrier, it was the man who once made lightning obey him indoors. So what became of it? Some of his papers disappeared. Others were dismissed as impossible with the tools of his time. Yet later research echoed his ideas under new names, particle beams, directed energy, defensive grids. The path from vision to reality is uncertain, but the resemblance is undeniable. Today, fragments of that dream exist all around us. Laser defenses, radar tracking, hypersonic interceptors, all whisper Tesla's prophecy. When nations speak of deterrence by denial, they repeat his belief that the best offense is a defense no one can break. If Teleforce had truly worked, would it have ended war or only changed its form? Tesla thought invention could shape morality, that peace could come through understanding energy itself. Maybe that is his real legacy, the audacity to aim science at peace.